Hi everyone! Today I would actually like to um, film my very first video, like official video, not the, um, you know, the short announcement that I accidentally forgot a travel vlog video um, for um, my channel. And actually today um, I decided that it is definitely time for me to go through all my makeup and what I brought here, what I brought with me, what is now here. And um, I didn't bring everything in here because it's just a bit crowded in here, it's a relatively small bathroom. But I wanted to um, just quickly sit down and for once see yeah, what the lighting's doing in here because I don't know yet where I will be filming in the future. And I also um, decided it's about time to actually unpack all my makeup. I had unpacked all the items that I was using on a regular basis back at home already, so all the items that are in Project PN and Project Use It Up. And I had unpacked those already, but um, I left the majority of my items on, um, actually still packed up because I wanted to show you how I packed everything and tell you a little bit about it and my thought process. And I wanted to show you or go through everything with you and see if there's anything that actually got damaged. Um, I was trying to be extra careful so I tried to pack as much of my more expensive items in my carry-on so that I could actually be um, the one carrying it and um, lifting it so that I knew that if something broke it was actually because maybe I was being clumsy. And um, then there were a few items that I just could not pack into my uh, regular carry-on so I packed a few items into my um, checked bag but those were for the most part actually the um, less expensive items or the items where I think well if I lose them um, or if they break the powder product especially if they break I can just um, repress them and just get a little bit of rubbing alcohol buy that real quick and repress everything so that would be good to go so um, that was my thought process and what I did was actually I wrapped as much as possible in bubble wrap I have a ginormous roll, um, it is still at our old house actually, because um, we lived with my parents, so the house is still um, my parents' house and everything, so there was no issue there. I left everything there and just um, figured that if there's more stuff that I want either sent to me or that I want them to bring, they can just use some of the bubble wrap and um, don't have to go hunting for it. So um, yeah, like I said, I packed everything in bubble wrap and um, taped it shut. I actually have um, three items right in here and as you can see there is a layer of bubble wrap between each of these items. So uh, first of all I'm going to go through the items that I actually, um, that I carried in my um, carry-on and um, I'm just going to quickly open this one up. I have some, I don't know if you can see that, I have some cute Asian tape that I used for that just makes sense because it, I have a big roll of that and it's cute and it's fun and it does stick very well. So first product here is my my Tarte um, uh, Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. So what I did with all or almost all of these ads I put cotton pads in there and um, if the cotton pads were too big for the packaging I would just cut them to size and let's see if that is still good. So, I think I can take that one out actually. So, one down. Then the next one is my e.l.f. blush palette. This is the dark one. And so, two cotton pads in here. And again, safe. I can actually take all the cotton pads out while I'm at it. And the last one in here is my e.l.f. contouring um, blush and bronzer in the shade St. Lucia. This one I had to tape shut because with the um, cotton pad in it, it wouldn't shut properly and it would sometimes pop open again, so I decided to just tape it shut. So, I'm going to try and keep most of these. And, yep, also good to go. Good. I might be able to use it. So, first three items I was lucky. I hope that continues. Like I said, I'm super nervous about this, and this will be probably a very long video. But I just want to see um, 
what is happening and I figured why not keep that and actually show you how I packed my eyes. So um, what I did, I actually, um, the bottom layer in my carry-on was um, just some socks and the likes, like smaller items. And on top of that I packed um, one of my um, wraps. Um, so you know I have a son and I was baby wearing him so I put, put him in a wrap and I brought a few of those here because I like them. And they're super for cuddling and all kinds of other stuff as well. So um, I put one of those wraps right on top of it to, um, to just give it some added cushioning. Then my Wet n Wild comfort zone, also safe. I'm hoping this really continues because, sorry, <clears throat> I'm really nervous about that. Now we come to my Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette in Native. And um, by the way, excuse, like I said, excuse the lighting, lighting I, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to film and all that. Plus, I don't mind actually right now because I had an allergic reaction to something and my entire skin is super bumpy and red and um, I have sits all over the place. So um, honestly, the lighting is not too good. You're not missing anything on my makeup anyway. So, here you can see how I cut this. Um, one round of cotton, one cotton round was just too big. So I just cut it in half and placed it like that to give it added cushioning. And again, this is also safe. <coughs> Made it safer here. I, um, if you're interested, I will actually, um, I will be filming a, an update on how I store my makeup once I figure that out. Right now, I'm... But we, we don't even have enough closet space right now, so um, we're pretty much still living out of, of suitcases. But um, if um, once I've set everything up, I will just film that. Right now, I have a um, storage container with um, three drawers plus a um, like a basket in a, um, pretty much um, that I both got at Target. So, um, oops, <clears throat> it'll be the worst if it happens now. So. The next is my uh, Naked on the Run palette. I actually had this in two layers because it's a bit bigger and um, it made me more nervous even to have anything happen to it. So I added an extra layer. Yeah, but I can't open it. <clears throat> so um, yeah, I, a few of you asked uh, where I moved. Um, so I used to live in Germany, um, if you hadn't heard that before. Um, I think I may have mentioned that event, um, at one point or another. And um, now I'm in the United States. So my Naked on the Run palette is also very good. I'm so happy about this. I was so nervous and um, I still am. The next one is my... Uh, uh, it Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette. So. Again, lots of layers of paper plus the little thingy. <clears throat> so, here we go. And, well, this one, uh, there's a bit of dust going on here, but all in all, I'm not sure if you can see that right down here. A little bit. It's mostly on the mirror, actually. So, another one that actually didn't suffer too much. Let's continue. My um, Urban Decay Naked. No, not naked. My Urban Decay um, smoke palette, I believe. I think that's a smoke palette. Super confused. I had a um, sort of kind of midterm right now, taking a class um, for. Yes, it's the smoke. I'm taking a class to just prepare me for a job that I will be working at, hopefully. And um, I had the midterm today, and it was super difficult. So. Another one that's super pretty. I'm just so glad about um, having all my palettes with me. I think I left the Catrice eyeshadow quad at home, but I was not um, too sad about that. Um, while I do like the colors in general, uh, the color combination just didn't work too well for me. There was only like one or two eyeshadow looks that I could do with it and that I liked, so I wasn't too keen on bringing that with me anyway. And I actually have to say that I don't like the pigmentation of that particular quad. All the other eye Catrice ashes I have are super pigmented and everything, but that one just didn't do it for me. Now we have the Urban Decay, the black palette, and um, this one 
I don't know, I mean this one has been discounted or it was actually even limited edition for ages but I absolutely love this. Um, on the eye you have to be careful and you maybe have to pack it on a bit more and be careful so that you don't blend out the um, shimmer particles and the glitter particles but I love this one. Then I'm going to continue with um, the... Oh, good god. This would be like the worst if it shattered now, right? Probably have to run over and um, deposit some of these into the um, the storage I purchased before I finish up this video. So my Naked Two palette. Um, here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh oh oh. Okay, I'm gonna show you this very carefully. I hope you can see the shade Pistol here. For some reason, popped out. Just gonna press that back in. It seems like the glue actually got loose. Mm. No, must have been the glue that got loose. Like uh, while traveling, apparently. But um, good to know that. And um, yeah, well, I guess I'm right back. So this is my um, Z palette with my depotted Catrice shadows. These are also good. So this is a Coastal Sense hot pot. The others are Catrice shadows. And I tried to bring as much of my makeup as possible because I did spend quite a bit of money on it. Um, here's my Naked palette. The original. That looks good to me. So glad to actually have those back again. To have them out of my suitcase and to be playing around with them again because at the moment, like the past few past two weeks, I was only working on the uh, MAC quad that I'm trying to deep, to um, pan and um, I'm super bored by it. I have um, three shadows left, uh, one is almost done, to um, the other two where I have quite a bit left. I just don't like the colors and I don't know what to do about them because they're just not my thing anymore. So, anyway, we're at Naked 3. That one also looks good. Yep. So it seems like so far only the Naked um, 2 had a little bit of an issue with the one shadow that were, had just had the... with a pan that was just basically loose because the the glue didn't last as well as it probably should have. So, um, my Urban Decay Electric palette. Yeah. So, that one's also good. I'm so glad. I am so glad. And, um, the last palette that I carried in my and my carry-on is the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette. And again, this is in a very thick layer of bubble wrap because I wanted to make sure it traveled. I got here safely. I hope that worked out. Also has two layers, so... Yeah, here we go. So, plus the wrapping it comes with and yeah there you go sorry my glasses are sliding at the moment i don't know what's going on so let me put this back in here the nice super case so well um that was that and then i um if i remember correctly every everything else was actually in my check bags so my brushes I just um, wrap those up in these little zipper pouches um, these are actually the pouches that when you purchase a Zoeira brush it comes in one of these pouches and I have quite a few I've saved the pouches because I figured maybe they come in handy eventually and uh, they did so um, I just um, packed as many of my brushes as I could in one of these pouches so that um, they would be sticking together they would not be sliding around too much and um, I left the um, the brush guards on because I like using the brush guards. So um, I left them on and I just have them in these zipper pouches and they all traveled actually pretty well. Like I don't see anything happening to them right now. Like the brush guard is still safely attached. And um, 
there are no brush hairs sticking out. That brush card is unfortunately like, I don't know, it's gotten a bit messy, but it's old. It's one of the first brush cards I had. But um, yeah, what I also had to stick in my carry-on, or um, not my carry-on, what I put in my um, in one of the check bags was actually my everyday makeup. And um, the thing was that um, our carry-on was just super heavy. Um, especially because I didn't want to check um, my um, electronics, my laptop and the camera and all that. I just didn't want to check it. So I ended up um, deciding to um, check my everyday makeup as well. And I have to say um, that they all traveled very well. Like This is my, um, my NYX blush in taupe. This traveled very well. I still have the um, thingy in there. All that I've been using it. The same goes for the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. I still have the cotton pad in there, but um, I've been using that obviously. So this traveled very, very well. And I'm very happy about this. Um, even the um, the eyeshadows I had that I um, already had pan for the Mac Watt that I um, just talked about a little bit earlier. Um, that was in the in my check bag, and nothing happened to it. I was super surprised by that, but. Um, yeah, I'm very happy about that because that way I just know everything is safe and nothing happened. So um, let me now go on over to um, the one item that I just probably don't have to really unpack. This is a um, a benefit trap pouch that I got. Um, I don't even remember when. Um, it was not with Bene benefit products. It just came as a goodie from um, when I um, purchased something from like a private, like a personal shopper. And um, the first bag I have here is um, my owl bag, which usually contains all my eyeliners, my pencils. And I just threw everything that I could in here, like my um, lip products I have in here. I have a um, gel eyeliner in here, um, cream eyeshadow. I just dropped everything in here that I could and um, made it. Uh, make sure it's as full as possible and then just um, sip it so this is very very full and the other bag I packed in here as well is this guy here this came with a um, gift set for for perfume I have uh, more lip products in here I have uh, my mascaras in here mm, I don't even know uh, my my perfume my lush vanilla perfume the last perfume I have left these kinds of bits and bobs I have in here, so I'm not going to unpack that right now. Just going to put this back in, and um, I'm fairly certain they all traveled safely. I'm not going to look at everything, every single product, because even if one of the pencils is broke, I can just continue using it. So that is not the issue. So I'm super happy about that. <laughs> and mm -hmm. me thinks I have to go move items again. Like I said, I'm sitting on the floor and it's very small and contained here, so um, I just can't really do much about it. So what I also did is with my um, bath and um, bath and um, skin care and all kinds of other items like that, I put them in Ziploc bags like these, like the big ones, and I taped shut everything that had a lip that you can just flip open, and also the um, the products in containers that only twist a little bit and then they're open, like my makeup remover, for example. Mm. I try to um, also depot and um, limit everything as much as possible because I didn't want to bring too much. Like if the um, if the product was half gone and I had a big container, and I also had an empty container that um, would fit the product, the amount of product I had left. I actually ended up just um, departing this and putting it in a new container so that it had a smaller product to take with me. So that's how one of these containers for my makeup remover actually ended up um, holding my, um, my, my shower gel that I'm, I'm panning right now. So um, yeah, I did that. These um, lids that just pop, pop up, you know, like, like this. I also taped those shots because, especially with this one, this is an oil product. I didn't want it to be too, um, yeah, too um, slippery and slimy and everything. The one thing that I think did suffer a bit is my Lush Butterbeer um, bath bomb. 
I need to check that out, but I'm not going to do that now. It's sitting on the floor, I'll have to do that over the sink, I think. So I'm going to keep that contained. And, yeah, here's another one of those bags that I did. What I didn't do is lids that closed completely, like this guy here. I um, didn't shut the tape shut because I didn't see the point. Probably should keep that one out, or at least put that somewhere near my beauty area as well because it just um, would probably make sense. And then this here is the bag that was actually also in my checked bag. This contains mostly um, mostly powder products at our drugstore um, with a few select exceptions. Um, what I also have in here are these um, cuticle sticks, these rosewood sticks. I had some left, didn't want to leave them, so I packed those. I have some some samples of um, Urban Decay products here that I kept and brought. These are nail files that are um, mini, mini size. They are here. You can see about as big as my finger. Didn't want to lose, didn't want to keep those at home and just bought my parents. So I did that. <coughs> And then, I'm not sure about that. So, this is the first package that I wrapped these also, just like the others, with bubble wrap and with layers of bubble wrap in between each of the items. So, I'm gonna see what they did. First one is my Revolve the Loop um, powder um, rouge in the shade Terracotta. That looks so good. Very happy about that because it's a beautiful color that I haven't used often enough. My Alverde blush in Avon Sun, Evening Sun. It's like a burnt orange. This is also very beautiful. And it's revived the flight. My Tarte blush was also in here. It's also safe. <laughs> Then I have eyeshadows here. This other the best. So, oh, come on. So yeah, the one thing that I did not manage to bring were actually my um, my nail polishes. That was super sad for me because I had to leave them all at home and I couldn't even bring my my few select um, colors that I do absolutely enjoy and that I. I might have to repurchase, don't tell anybody. Um, but I was just too nervous about the nail polishes breaking and with the glass balls, they maybe could have pierced the um, Ziploc bag and I didn't want my clothes to get dirty and um, messed up. So I kind of ended up not bringing them, which makes me super sad now because I have a ton of nail polish and maybe I will have to figure something out to have somebody else bring it for me. But then they, they might have the same problem that I would have had. So the first one is the Catrice um, Absolute Eye Color in My Mirror Mint. That looks good. Then, yeah, I'm super sad about my, my eyeshadows. The, my eyeshadows, I see. My uh, nail polishes. Because my eyeshadows, I brought almost all of them. Mm, yeah, that's the same. So this is um, Patrol Shop Boy, so this is a nice patrol-y color, like, I don't know, like a teal, I don't know what you want to call it. Then, what else did I not bring? Actually, I think I brought almost everything. I think the nail nail stuff is what I didn't bring. I did not bring my, um, my brush cleanser, my on-the-go quick brush cleanser, because it said it's flammable and I wasn't sure if you can um, bring flammable materials on on the plane, so I just didn't even bother. This is um, Catrice Matte Shadow in the shade Hakuna Matata. And then here we have the last one, that is also a Catrice Shadow in here. Um, this is... Like I said, they all have the little... here. Cut pieces off cotton pads. This is Plum Up the Jam. This is a nice plummy color. You can see it pretty well. It has a gold shimmer in it, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I do love this. So, let's continue on with 
more eyeshadows. This one is also Catrice at Essence Eyeshadows only. So, the first one. I kind of unfortunately had to glue those shut because they wouldn't um, stay put because of the cotton pads that I put in. So, this is my um, Catrice Velvet Matte Eyeshadow in Vanilla T Fear. I have another one of these that I'm using right now. That one also survived. Um, being in the uh, check bag, in the other check bag. So, that one looks like it suffered a tiny bit. Nope. So this is my Catrice Liquid Metal Eyeshadow in Gold Roses. Hope you can see the, the gold sheen you can see. I'm not sure about the, um, there's the rosy sheen. It's absolutely beautiful. I love that. So. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I think this bag worries me the most because it was in the check bag and it had <coughs> that mix, max mix of um, price in here. My uh, Catrice absolute eye color in new and brown. This is a taupey color, but also rosy. Just absolutely beautiful. And um, I don't have that one back. I think I have to pull that one out eventually just to use it again. <coughs> and then we have... God, I really want to tell with the tape to glue everything shut. So this is the Essence Metal Vial Eyeshadow in Mist Tangerine, and I'm not sure if you can you can see the golden sheen to it, but not necessarily the tangerine color. Yeah, this is also nice. It doesn't show off as um as tangerine as orangey gold as it does in the pan, unfortunately. And here's a an escapee. So, this is the, one of the blushes I put in here. This is my sleek blush from the Avarela Pesh collection in Pantau. <laughs> this is what the packaging looks like. And this is a bright orange blush. There's our tiles, by the way. If you can hear the TV in the background, um, yeah, my son just woke up. He is watching Chuggington. And my other sneak blush, this is from their regular collection. This is in rose gold. It's supposed to be similar to the NARS blush in um, Orgasm. There you go. I don't have orgasms, I can't really tell you if it's a good enough dupe or not, but I got that for free and I'm not going to complain because it's a nice color. A Catrice Defining Duo Blush in Apricot Smoothie. That's also good. An elf blush in the shade Mellow Mauve. So, this is one of my darker blushes, and I think I might want to actually start using that because God, we're getting into fall. I mean, not really here. Temperatures are still pretty high. I got a sunburn yesterday on the back of my neck. That was super odd. I, I mean, I, I burn easily because I'm very pale, but yeah, that was super. This is an Essence blush, by the way. This was from a limited edition called Kalinka Beauty. So this was all like Russian themed. Had the Matryoshka dolls on it. This is an East Side Story. And this is a, it's another corally blush. I mean, I have a thing for corally colors, so not really surprising. Then um, this guy here is also an Essence limited edition blush from the Miami uh, Roller Girl um, limited edition in Dates on Skates. As you can see, the cotton pads are actually not doing much, they're just flopping around in there. And this blush actually, um, I dropped this. Um, I'm not sure if you saw that on, maybe on Instagram I might have posted it, but I dropped this um, maybe a half a week, a week before we left. And it came out of the entire pan, like the entire product and the little corner that was gone. So I repressed it, now it's all good again. Glad that this didn't suffer. 
while traveling. That was one of those products that I was worried about because if you look at the colors, they are neon pink and neon orange, and it's a nice combination. So, another Essence Limited Edition blush in. Well, Cherry Blossom Girl Limited Edition Asian Sensation. This has, I hope you can see, cherry blossoms pressed into it. Super nice. One of the um, Essence Regular Collection blushes, the Essence Matte Touch Blush in Peach Me Up. I think I'm super lucky here, guys. I didn't expect that. I was super nervous. So, mm, this is a physician's formula blush that actually traveled um, from the United States to Germany and now back again. This is English Shade Natural. So, this is really, really beautiful. And another um, Essence uh, regular blush um, from the Silky Touch blush line in Indian Summer. This is more of a, a brownie color, but still beautiful. I have a ton more to go. So, this here is my um, Wet n Wild Trio in Walking on Eggshells. This had suffered before, but um, this time around I was lucky. Nothing broke or anything. This part here was gone already and everything else is fine. An e.l.f. quad, bright night eye color quad in um, a day tonight. Can you, can you see the colors? The Ulta Complete Eye Quint that Mary sent me in Seoul. I love this. I'm glad it's here and safe. And then my e.l.f. Brightening Eye Color Quad in Butternut. Yeah. Okay, so here you go. Also beautiful. Now, I kind of have to hurry because my battery starts to blink and um, as you may remember, I have battery issues anyway. I mean, I can charge it now, but... So, come on. Open up. Open up, open up. So, my Essence Eyeshadow Duo in All Time Favorites. This guy here, also good to go. My Alberti eyeshadow in warm vanilla. Even lighter than my skin tone. My beloved Alberti quad in cinnamon nude. There was nothing I could do about that, but it survived, so I'm super glad. One more Ulta quad, also from Mary from Maria's Diary. This is in Smoky. These are her bluish shades, they're beautiful. And we're coming to an end here. This is the last package I have to open. So, my Ulta duo in Splendor and Bronzer. So this is this blush and bronzer duo. It also survived, nothing happened. Then this guy, my Wet n Wild Color Icon um, Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. It's more of a subtle highlighter, but also no problem there. And the last item, my Essence Cinderella Highlighter Powder. This is in the glass slipper. Again, I had two cotton pads in here, by the way, because the packaging is quite big and bulky, um, and nothing happened. Here's the rose overlay, by the way. It's absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, this was actually it. I am super stunned and glad that nothing broke and everything is okay. Um, I honestly didn't expect that. 
But I think the massive amount of bubble wrap and cotton pads as well as um, stuffing everything with clothes and making sure that it's super, super um, cushioned um, just really helped apparently. Uh, despite all the, um, like, um, even the pants that I had going, I think this is super, this is amazing and I'm super glad that nothing happened. So, um, yeah, I'm super glad that everything um, just went well for me. Uh, like I said, I still need to figure out how I'm storing everything and where I'm going to put everything and how I'm going to film and all that. Um, it might be a bit until I fully come to a conclusion and I... I figured out what I want to do or where I want to do it and all that but um, for the time being I think the lighting is semi okay depending on the um, the angle that I use for this bit and um, so I think we're good to go we're, we're gonna figure this out um, thank you for being patient with me like when I didn't upload last week and the week before as well um, but yeah, that that battery issue really, really was annoying and there was nothing I could do about it. So, this is a super long video, I'm really sorry about that and um, I hope you did last through this. But I wanted to show you how I packed everything and what happened, if anything happened. Like I had a few um, more dusty items that apparently just had some powder kick up despite the wrapping and all that. But if it's just a powder that kicks up and if it's maybe just a glue that comes loose for a product then I'm definitely okay with that if nothing happens. Anyway, I do hope you had a great day. I hope you will have a wonderful weekend and I will definitely see you guys soon. Bye!